Last season's champs are back, and they're taking on one of their strongest challengers ever, next on Quiz Kids. It's the Bay Area Quiz Kids. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Hi, everybody. Welcome to this round of Quiz Kids. Yes, we're welcoming back last season's champions, the Bellarmine Bells. And they're taking on one of our favorite teams, the Crystal Springs Upland Griffins. So let us begin with the first round of the three for all. I'll ask you a five point toss up question. The team member who gets the correct answer will get control for their team. I'll ask a second question worth 10 points. If you get that right, you have a chance to earn 25 points with a third correct answer. Good luck to both teams. Here's your first toss up. Mummy, vampire, zombie. What would a horror movie producer call a corpse that's been, yes, Samir? Zombie. Correct. Which cabinet department recently came under fire for their tongue-in-cheek zombie apocalypse training? Secretary of Defense? Defense. Uh, Defense. Department of Defense? No, it was uh, Homeland Security. Louis XVI, Philip V, Ferdinand VII. After he helped fund the American Revolution, yes, John? Louis XVI. Correct. Historians agree she never said, let them eat cake. Who was the wife of Louis XVI? Marie Antoinette. Correct. Marie Antoinette wasn't born in France. Rather, she was the daughter of which Austrian empress? Uh, Maria Theresa. Maria Theresa. Correct, for 25 points. (laughs) Mr. Potato Head, Cavity Sam, and Ken. Which toy was first introduced in 1952? Uh, Jewel. Ken. No. Spud, not included. Uh, that's Mr. Mr. Potato, Potato Head. Head. Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head. In the Toy Story movies, who voiced the part of Mr. Potato Head? Uh, Eddie Murphy. No, no, no. It's John. Uh, it's John, John Ratzenberger. Ratzenberger. Okay. Ratzenberger. John Ratzenberger is correct. On Cheers, John Ratzenberger's character Cliff was a fine example of what kind of civil servant? Uh, post. He's a mailman. A mailman. He was a mailman. Congratulations for twenty-five points. <laughs> Laplace, Descartes, and Leibniz. Who is credited with the concept of graphically representing, yes, Samir? Uh, Descartes. Correct. Uh, In which quadrant of Cartesian space are both X and Y negative? Uh, Third. Third. Correct. Which Dutch Golden Age painter created the Laughing Cavalier and a famous portrait of René Descartes? Franz Hals. You got 25 points. (laughs) A Midsummer Night's Dream, As You Like It, The Comedy of Errors. Titania and Oberon are the king and queen. Yes, John. Midsummer Night's Dream. Correct. Puck, Ariel, Caliban, and Ophelia aren't just Shakespearean characters. They are moons of which gas giant? Uh, Jupiter. Jupiter. Oh, no. Jupiter. Is it Saturn? No. Jupiter. 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 Neptune. Uh, Uranus. Oh, Uranus. Okay. Nucleic acids, amino acids, fatty acids. Three prime and five prime. Yes, Samir? Uh... Amino acids? No. Three prime and five prime are used to designate the ends of what class of molecules? Uh, I think it's fatty acids. Okay. Go for it. Fatty acids? Uh, no, it's nucleic acids. Okay. The Hudson River, the Delaware River, the Potomac River. Emmanuel Leutze painted, yes, yep. Delaware River? Yes. Mm-hmm. Washington and his army crossed from Pennsylvania into what other state? Uh, uh, New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah. Correct. What battle named for a town down river followed the crossing and is said to have been a turning point in the Revolutionary War? Battle of Trenton. You got 25 points. <laughs> Tuberculosis, smallpox, and typhus. Which disease all too common in the 19th century was at the time known as consumption? John. Tuberculosis. Correct. It wasn't penicillin, but what other antibiotic that was the first effective treatment for tuberculosis? Uh, oh, uh... Shoot. Answer, sir? Uh, salicyclic acid. Uh, no, it was streptomycin. Ford, Mazda, Tesla. Which car company shares its name with the MKS unit? Joel. Tesla. Spurned by Edison, Tesla went to work developing alternating current systems for which industrialist? J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan. With George Westinghouse. Acceleration, momentum, inertia. Newton's first law of motion... Samir. Inertia. On the surface of the Earth, the effects of inertia are often masked by gravity. And what other resistive force? Uh, Friction. 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 Correct. 
To physicists, friction is not a fundamental force, but rather a manifestation of which of the four fundamental forces? So that's strong strong force? Force? No, the no. four fundamental forces. Gra yeah. Is it just yeah. gravitational? No electromagnetic. Yeah, that's what I was saying. And that is the end of the first round. 125 for Bellman to five for Crystal Springs. We'll come back and meet our teammates. Don't go away. Now it's time to meet the Quiz Kids. Once again, here's Brad. Welcome back. Let's say hello to the Crystal Springs team. Andrew McMillan, you are a junior. Yes, sir. And a twin. Yeah. <laughs> so you have lots of funny stories, I'm sure, about your twin brother, um, Connor. Well, yeah, but I, I don't think I should um, disclose any of those without his permission. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, just recently, he was in a production of Joseph in the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Uh, it was uh, really good. Uh, so he's the actor in the family. Uh, yeah, he is. Okay, uh, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Which leads us right into... Jewel Veltz, because Jewel is starring in the upcoming musical at Crystal Springs. Yes, um, March 7th, 8th, and 9th, we are putting on Wonderful Town, which is a really fun show about two sisters that come from Ohio to New York seeking fame and fortune. And there's a romantic sister and a funny sister, and yes, you're playing... The funny sister. The funny sister, which is a great part, originated by Rosalind Russell. And you um, are going to be in the play with Andrew's brother, Connor, right? Indeed. Cool. And Joel Cohn. Joel, you're a senior, and you lived in Denmark for five years. Danish ancestry? Uh, yes, my mother's Danish. Uh-huh. Yeah. And how was that, living in it? Was it very it was different a, from America? Um, not entirely, but it certainly is a different cultural experience. There's a lot of different... Uh, there's a lot of different little short. There's a lot of different concepts in Denmark, and it's but it's a very nice country to live in. Good, and it gives you a sort of sense of being an international creature. Yeah, definitely. When you do that, good for you. Okay, you guys, let's give you a chance to earn some points. Yes. Um, we have three categories, each with seven po questions, each worth ten points. If you give me all seven correct answers, I'll throw in a thirty-point bonus. So the categories today are raining cats and dogs. First words and an easy choice. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm thinking, let's go cats and dogs. I was thinking easy, but I, I, mean, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't Use your own discretion. Go cats and dogs. Okay, cats and dogs. Okay. These answers all share the name of a breed of canine or feline. Oh, okay. This is the profession of Joe Frazier, Rocky Graziano, and Muhammad Ali. Boxer. Oh, yeah. Boxer. Correct. This 11th century monk established a hospice for weary travelers along the treacherous passes of the Swiss Alps. St. Bernard. You got it. This type of land is known for its lush grasses and lack of trees. Lush grasses. Savannah? Savannah? Mm. No, it won't be that. Pl oh, uh, prairie, prairie dog. Yeah, prairie. Yeah, Savannah, which is a breed of cat, beautiful breed of cat. Oh, whoops. <laughs> the little people that Dorothy Gale discovered when she landed her house in Oz. Uh, munchkin. Yeah, munchkins? Yeah, it's a breed of cat, too. The munchkin cat. A professor might use this long stick to refer to something on the blackboard. Pointer? Yeah. yeah, pointer, right? Okay, yeah, pointer. It's a famous type of dog. Yes, yeah. the pointer. <laughs> this favorite cloth toy for a little girl is also the title of a hit song by the Four Seasons, and I own two of them. Pray for cloth. Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann. <laughs> I don't know. R Raggedy, Raggedy Ann. The greatest cat of all, the rag doll. Oh. There is no breed of cat called a Mumbai, but if you go back to an earlier name, you'll find this answer. Bombay. Bombay. Bombay cats, exactly. You got five correct <laughs> answers for a total of 55 points. <laughs> Let's say ding dong to the bells. John Cherian, you are a senior. And you had a summer job at Stanford last summer. Yeah, so I worked at the Stanford Center for International Development, which is sort of like an international economics think tank. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I did a lot of things there, but I think that the highlight of my experience was that I got to help write a speech for the inauguration of the Shanghai Institute of Public Finance, which is an honor for me. Very honorable. Very good for you. Good. And you want to go into finance or economics as a? I, I definitely think so. I mean, we need yeah. we need good thinkers. We need good thinkers in that field. Samir Rai, you went on a trip to Spain. 
Uh, yes, we did. Uh, it was actually the academic trip, uh, trip provided as our prize last year for Quiz That's Kids. right, because you guys won and you guys got to go on that trip. So, how was it? It was great. We actually learned a lot about the different academic things we studied about. We visited over seven cities and we actually got to see some of the great landmarks in Barcelona, Madrid, such as the Prado and the Sagrada Familia that we enjoyed thoroughly. Excellent. Good. Nice and educational. I hope you had a little bit of fun too. Yep. Hiep Nguyen. Hiep, you are a junior and you are at this time coaching the middle school Quiz Bowl students to become the successors to you and your mighty team. How's that going for you? Uh, it's good. I help coach uh, Challenger Berryessa, which is my my old middle school, uh -huh. and uh, we uh, we qualified to the national tournament uh, last month. And so the middle looking, schoolers did. Yeah. Up against college students or um, fifty year old. Oh no! It's against other middle school students from really? uh, around the Bay Area. Okay, good for you. Congratulations. Excellent work. All right, you guys. Let's see what higher point values you can achieve with uh, your choice of either first words or an easy choice. An easy choice. An easy choice. Name these things that contain the letters E, Z. Ba, humbug. It's Scrooge's first name. Okay. Ebenezer. Ebenezer. Right? It was first dispensed as a peppermint candy in Vienna. Uh, the comic heads came later. Pez. 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 Right. As a result of the Six Day War of 1967, this Middle East canal remained closed until 1975. Suez Canal. Suez Canal. Correct. One of Thomas Edison's first ever film shorts showed his assistant Fred Ott doing this. Sneezing? 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 Correct. It's a long stretch of painted or sculpted decoration normally above eye level. Uh, oh, freeze? Freeze, freeze. 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 Correct. Yeah. It's where the world you can see, it's where in the world you can see the spectacular angel falls. Uh, uh, Venezuela. Venezuela. Yeah. Venezuela. Right. Venezuela. Passages from Deuteronomy are inscribed on the small scrolls of these found on the doorposts of Jewish homes. Oh. Answer? Uh, it's called a mezuzah. And you got six correct, and you have 185 points. We'll be right back with more Quiz Kids. And now we're back with the second half of Quiz Kids. Take it away, Brad. We're back, and let's give a big round of applause to the coaches for both teams. First from Bellarmine, Mr. Chris Fletus. And from Crystal Springs, Ms. Kelly Sortino. Thank you, coaches, for all your hard work. And we will now continue with the next round of the three for all. Point values are now 10, 25, and 50 points. Good luck to both teams. Here's the first toss-up. Acid, alkali, alcohol. Which word could describe a dry lake bed or a substance that turns John? Alkali. Yes. In contrast to litmus paper, what kind of paper turns a wider variety of colors to indicate degree of acidity or alkalinity? pH strip. pH strip. Uh, is that? Is yes. pH strip. Okay. Uh, until 1994, which alkali lake near Yosemite was in danger of being drained to provide water to Los Angeles? Shows. I don't know. Don't make shows. No. Owen Lake. Uh, Owen Lake. Mono Lake. Mono. Yeah. France, Belgium, or the Netherlands? What country would you be in if you were visiting the original Edam cheese market? Samir. Uh, Belgium? Nope. You can steal. It's the Netherlands. Yeah. Sure, the Netherlands. That's right. When you buy Edam, it is usually covered in paraffin wax of what color? Yellow. Yellow. Red. Oh, oh, sorry. We, we, we need to talk about Sitting Bull, sorry. Crazy Horse, Geronimo. Thunderhead Mountain in North Dakota is being carved into a memorial featuring what? Yes, Andrew. Crazy Horse. Correct. The Crazy Horse Memorial is located eight miles from what Black Hills Monument completed in 1941? Mount Rushmore. Right. The creator of Mount Rushmore, Gutzun Borglum, also created an enormous Confederate monument on the north face of what state's stone mountain? Georgia. Sure. Georgia? That is right, for 50 nice. points. Cool. <laughs> Maurice Sendak, Ezra Jack Keats, Shel Silverstein. Who created the children's books in... Joel. Uh, Shel Silverstein. Nope. In the Night Kitchen and Where the Wild Sendak. Things Are. Sendak. Sendak. Right. Name the boy that goes to Where the Wild Things Are. What's his name? Uh, Maybe you should do more reading. Uh, Willie. It's Max. Okay. Fluorescent, iridescent, and luminescent. 
Which describes a material that absorbs light at one wavelength? John. Iridescent? No, and emits it at another. Luminescent, right? Sure. Luminescent? Fluorescent. Oh. <laughs> Oxford, Canterbury, Westminster. The spiritual head of the Church of England is which, Joel? Westminster. No, is which archbishop? Uh, Canterbury. Canterbury. Correct. Canterbury Cathedral became a place of pilgrimage after the 1170 murder of which archbishop? Thomas Becket. Yeah. Thomas Becket. That's right. You can all say it. The popularity of pilgrimages to Canterbury led to a stone reconstruction of what Thames Crossing? Uh, oh, what Thames Crossing? Cross. The bridge. Uh, okay. uh, London Bridge? Yeah. Just London Bridge? That's right, for all 50 right. points. <laughs> Napa, Sonoma, and Santa Rosa. Which wine country town, <laughs> Samir? Napa? No is home to the northernmost of California's missions. Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa. It's Sonoma. Okay. Stonewall Jackson, George Pickett, and Robert E. Lee. Which Confederate general married Martha? Yes, yeah. Uh, Robert E. Lee. Right. The Custis Lee Mansion, once the home of Robert E. Lee, is now part of what military cemetery established during the Civil War? Arlington. Arlington. Arlington is known as the final resting place of John F. Kennedy. What other president was buried in Arlington after having served as both president and chief justice of the Supreme Court? Taft. 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 You've got it for 50 points. <laughs> Bird brains, dirty dukes, and rough riders. What was the nickname of the cavalry regiment? Yes, Kiep. Uh, rough riders. A lot of colorful names in history are associated with Teddy Roosevelt. What was the nickname of the progressive party created in 1912 after Bull Teddy? Bull Moose. Okay, let, let me finish, but we'll go on. The 1912 split in the Republican Party led to what New Jersey Democrat winning the presidential election that year? Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson. Wilson, yeah. Wilson? Yes, 50 points. <laughs> Harvard, Georgetown, and Columbia. Which university awards journalism's highest, John? Columbia. In which of New York's five boroughs will you find the main campus of Columbia University? Manhattan. 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 Columbia is only one of two American universities to have been established by royal charter. Which Virginia school is the other? Uh, William, William and Mary. And Mary. Yeah. That is right, for 50 points. <laughs> Madagascar, Seychelles, and Mauritius. The English one is probably the most famous, but another channel separates the African mainland. Yes, Samir. Uh, Madagascar? Right. The original channel islands such as Jersey and Guernsey are British dependencies off the coast of what other European nation? France. 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 Right. California also has its Channel Islands, but which is the only one to have a permanent civilian settlement? Catalina. 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 Santa Catalina for 50 Catalina. points. Yes. <laughs> the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Tower of London, and the Eiffel Tower. Which famous tower employs a Raven Master? He up. Uh, Leaning Tower of Pizza? No, you can steal. Tower of, London. tower of London. Right. In their first year as a franchise, the Ravens brought pro football as a, and a Super Bowl win to what city? Baltimore. Right. The Baltimore Ravens were named for a character created by which 19th century author? Edgar Allan Poe. You got 50 points. <laughs> <laughs> we are done with the round. 470 for Bellman, 165 for Crystal Springs. We'll be back in just a minute. In this final round, the questions are worth 30 points. Get as high a score as you can so you can bring your highest score to your second game later in the season. Good luck to both teams. Let's put three minutes on the clock. And here's your first question. It's the heaviest element known to be required in the human diet. Which, Joel? Iron. No. Which fourth halogen is added to table salt to prevent hyperthyroidism? Iodine. 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 Right. It has a central canal surrounded by three meninges. Often damaged in paraplegics, what component of the central nervous system is protected by the... John. Spinal cord? Correct. It's the most populous city in Kentucky. Where would you go? Yes, Samir. Uh, Louisville? Right. This territory was ceded to Britain following the War of the Spanish Succession. Yes, Andrew. Malta. No. What's the territory whose namesake strait links the Mediterranean to the Atlantic? Gibraltar. 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 Correct. Germans, Italians, and Japanese were interned here during World War II. Yes, Samir. Uh, Camp, uh, Manzanar? No. no. Uh, from 1892 through 1954, 12 million immigrants were processed through what island in New York Harbor? Ellis Island. Ellis Island. Right. He served as the chair of the Senate Committee on Foreign Relations. Who's New Year's Eve brokering of a deal? Yes, yep. Joe Biden. Correct. Their danger is classified on the Torino scale. Name these objects, one of which named 2012 DA-14, will pass between the Earth. Yes, John. Asteroid. Correct. 
1876 guidelines named for a U.S. Army major described friendly amendments, seconding motions, and other points of parliamentary procedure. John. Robert's Rules. That's correct. The fall of the Iron Curtain began not with the Berlin Wall, but with the opening of Austria's border, yes, Joel. Hungary. Correct. It was named for their mascot. 1960s football players at the University of Florida were the first to, yes, Joel. Gatorade. Correct. The U.S. acquired them from Denmark, St. John, and St. Thomas lie in the U.S. controlled part of what Caribbean archipelago? J. Andrew. The Virgin Islands. Right. This no the Nobel Prize for its discovery was awarded to Flory and Fleming. What blue-green mold was, yes, Samir? Uh, penicillin? Correct. Its first prime minister was John A. MacDonald. Stephen Harper, yes, Joel. Canada. Right. Black cats were considered bad luck here, but good luck, yes, Joel. Europe. No. In what home of Hello Kitty? Oh, Japan. 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 Correct. Japan. Daniel Goleman wrote of an emotional one. What concept has a quotient developed by Alfred Binet? Yep. Yeah. Um, personality? No. You can steal. Intelligence. Intelligence? Correct. Nice. The top 22 of these are known as the Major Arcana. What do we call these fortune-telling cards? It's John. Tarot. That's right, tarot. In the first issue of his own newspaper, he declared, I will be heard. Which, uh, yes, Samir. Garrison. Correct. He's the husband of Isis and the father of Horus, Samir. Osiris. Correct. What home of the endangered California condor is now America's newest national park? Samir. Uh, San Joaquin. No, you can steal. I'm Mojave. No. Mojave. Pinnacles National Park. Its crew includes Flask, Flask Stubb, and Starbuck. What ship was, yes, Samir? Uh, the Pequot. Correct. It's been a TV institution since the Iran hostage crisis. What late night program swap, yes, yep? Um, the answer is Nightline, the end of the game. 345 for Crystal Springs, 860 for Bellarmine. <laughs> Well, Bellarmine, you are showing yourselves a force to be reckoned with yet again. We will see both teams in the future weeks, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.